What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today guys, we're gonna talk about turbocharger performance issues and low boost and what you need to do to get your six liter running right. But first guys, if you haven't, hit that subscribe button, give this video a big thumbs up. What's been your experience when you've had turbocharger issues? What was the fix? Drop those comments down below. Help everybody searching this video uh, out on fixing their truck. Okay guys, so those of you that have been following probably have seen a lot of these things that we've already done. And uh, what we've diagnosed here is we believe we have a failed turbocharger. The bearings and stuff are fine, but we cleaned the veins once and it doesn't seem to be working. So I'm gonna go over the other steps needed uh, of things to check before you just blame the turbo. A lot of guys have an issue. They think it's the turbo. They spend a bunch of money on a performance charger from a quality company. And then they turn around only to have the exact same issue they have. This is gonna be the fourth turbo on this truck in the last like two, three years. So we clearly have an issue. And my, my uh, suspicion really was probably in the exhaust back pressure sensor. Now somebody before me came over and replaced a map sensor. They do not typically fail, it could happen, but they don't typically fail, so I don't believe that was our issue. So to make our VGT system on these turbos run correctly, it requires a lot of input. So it requires a lot of input from different sensors to run correctly. So most trucks have the MAF sensor, mass airflow, which is right on your intake here. Your MAP sensor, which is this back here on top of your AC stuff. Down here is the exhaust back pressure sensor. You probably can't see it but it is down there. And then the VGT solenoid itself. It takes all those different sensors for the computer to control the VGT properly. So if any one of those inputs is not working correctly, we will have issues in the performance of the turbo. So I would recommend checking them. Exhaust back pressure sensors I've seen fail and cause uh, turbo failures frequently or poor performance. The other thing on your MAF, or on your MAP sensor, excuse me, there's a hose that goes to your intake manifold right here. So this hose here that's coming off, it goes down onto your intake manifold down there. Sometimes they break and will cause issues as well. So you wanna check that tube. Again, the sensor itself doesn't tend to fail, but that tube occasionally does fail. So check that. Also check pigtails to all these connectors. Sometimes I've seen the VGT solenoid ones get messed up and that cause issues. Again, I don't see those, sen the MAF sensor typically fail either, but sometimes these wires get messed up, so you wanna check them. Now, some of you may notice we have a boot upgrade on this truck. So we have the metal side pipe, they sometimes leak, or the plastic ones sometimes leak. Go get a factory metal one, they're pretty cheap, or get a nice aftermarket one like so on my truck, but the metal, the factory ones, perfectly fine. You can easily get them for a good price. We went with upgraded boots. We have riffraff diesel boots on here heavy duty we got new clamps these are perfect we know we're not leaking air previously he was leaking air from there which again can perfect performance overall so we got new clamps and boots everything's torqued down correctly nice and tight but not and not over tightened either that can be an issue as well so we know we're not losing boost from there uh, the only other thing and we did kind of look the inner coolers and you can peel back in these corners here and check the end caps apparently when the gasket blows out on the intercooler uh, you can actually see it we don't have any weird noises saying that there's like a big hole in the intercooler um, but if you're if you suspect you have an intercooler issue I'll have links to different products to help fix these and replacement sensors and such but if you suspect your intercooler there's some really affordable all metal intercoolers that are just drop-in ready like I said links down in the description and that'll fix that issue the next thing I would check for, and I mean, I would check all these small things at the same time. I'm not saying just replace parts, uh, but replace them all at the same time. The next thing I would do is I would check your Y-pipe connection to the turbo itself, especially if work's been done recently. Sometimes they're not seated right. Check for exhaust leaks. You wanna look for soot on your back wall or on your firewall. Look for soot coming out of the, where it mounts to the cylinder head and the Y-pipe to exhaust manifold connection underneath the truck. So you wanna check all those things prior to changing your turbo, guys. If you don't verify that you have a failed turbo prior to this and you just start replacing it, you're gonna be calling turbo companies mad at them because their turbo didn't fix your issue when you had something prior. A lot of, there's a lot of great turbos out there. Uh, turbo Time USA, shout out to our sponsor, Six Obros for 5% off. Um, and a company I'm not affiliated with at this time at all, KC Turbo, I do recommend them as well. They're another good quality company, again, 
huge shout out to my sponsor and all the support they provide guys if you want to help the channel and you want performance turbo hit those guys up because they really help make this channel continue to happen uh, so i love those guys and they have great stuff you're going to love their product okay guys and lastly verify you don't have other issues as well like if you're not getting enough fuel you're not going to see enough boost uh, i'll put a comment down below with a link to a video on diagnosing why i believe why we went this avenue as opposed to maybe seeing some other things that could be wrong such as ficum and things like that and just a video where i talk about other things to check in the truck while taking it on a test drive that you should be looking at so you kind of know why we went this avenue on this like i said we replaced exhaust back pressure sensor we got new up uh, heavy duty boots and clamps on here someone previously replaced the map sensor again i don't believe that needed replaced at all map sensors don't typically fail either uh, the intake isn't super dirty it's not tripping the thing uh, the filter minder either so we're good here uh, the truck's really pretty well gone over i've double checked the exhaust connection so we're good there as well so we're at a point um, this was a reman turbo that's in this truck i believe the other ones probably were too um, i'm not saying there aren't good companies out there making remands i'm just not a big fan of them personally um, and i know turbo time every now and then will have a remand on their website you can buy but it's pretty seldom um, i don't know why they when they do that why they do it but if you're interested in that you can and i do trust turbo time so i feel you can go through and buy that uh, with some peace of mind because it's from a quality company i'm not familiar with the local company that's doing this one but i've never heard of them and quite frankly i i'm i don't think uh they're putting out a great product uh overall so keep an eye on all these things guys to again get to that turbo like you don't want to sa save yourself money because you know we cut the catalytic converter out of this for testing purposes of course to eliminate any restrictions in the exhaust uh sounded good with just coming off the downpipe to be honest he has a new muffler on this already so we did reconnect all that connection it's all good there so like i said we really went over everything we could to try to find why it was doing what it was doing and now we're at a point where there's no other cheap easy fixes and honestly i don't think there's any other potential fix other than the turbo itself is bad so we're gonna get a new turbo in this we just ordered it um, a little bit ago going to the factory replacement guys um you know really i want to say if you're not factory turbos are fine everyone wants to do performance upgrades and i love it you allow you guys using my code you know again my affiliate code does help the channel grow and continue to make content so i'm not opposed to you doing that but be realistic with what you want to do guys um just because you throw a performance charger in are you going to upgrade your fuel system are you gonna are you going to change your tuning guys will put these bigger turbos in, not ever change their tuning you can't run a power max turbo which is probably the it's a good bang for your buck it's probably one of the worst performance turbos on the market in my opinion at least from a quality company other similarly sized turbos with better compressor wheels and stuff have uh, are much much better than the power max power max is more affordable i will say that but turbo time usa with my code you actually can get their stage one 61 millimeter billet turbo which i think will probably outperform the power max in most scenarios um you get that for less than they sell the power max for by like 20 30 bucks so uh check that stuff out if you're interested just be realistic with your with your overall goals for the truck are you do you really need the huge 64 mil not that 64 millimeters is huge but for stock injectors it's on the bigger side so just be realistic with what you're doing with your truck and if it's really worth it for those turbos i run them i like them not everybody wants to do the crap i do though so just be honest with yourself anyway guys so like i said we're gonna that's what we're gonna do we're gonna get a turbo coming out we're gonna get it replaced uh should be good to go after that and uh, I'll, i will do another follow-up video once this is done but i just wanted to talk about performance turbocharger issues and what you need to do in that situation to verify um you know what's wrong and how to fix it so we've done that here so we're pretty we know that we need to do a turbo at this point um i'll get back to you guys after it's done let you know what i think if you haven't already hit that subscribe button i hope this video helps you guys out again drop your comments down below what was your fix uh for it on your truck help everybody out doing this so we can all hopefully come here save some money and uh, help each other out if you haven't already hit that subscribe button give this video a big thumbs up i'll see you in the next upload